Haha, <laughs> just as everything was left. And welcome back. Now, uh, I've figured out what we need to do. First off, you know, see that book on that shelf right there? I figured out how to get it. It's actually really simple. The book, though it doesn't appear like that, is on an elevated shelf, so obviously it's out of Hiroshi's reach. So what do we do? We get a chair, of course. Yes, you probably wouldn't guess this, but you can actually move the chair out of the room. Yeah, that's what kind of tripped me up. I wouldn't have thought to have moved the chair out of the room. Even though, I guess realistically, this is something you can do. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. Just take the chair out of the room. Now, let's see. What's gonna happen? Oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I was worried that would happen. It's been a while since I've seen the Oni, so he decided to make an appearance on me. So, run, 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 run as fast as you can. You cannot catch me, I'm Hiroshi, man! Oh shit. Okay, so, is he gonna go away? Do I have to hide? Or I could just run some more. Yeah, that works. And he's gone, so... Let's save, I think I'll take slot one. So, yeah. Thankfully, after that, uh, I won't have to deal with him for a little bit. There's actually a set encounter coming up with him really soon, but for now, he's out of my hair. I can j do what I wanted to do. Okay, so like I was saying, you can push that chair to that shelf and uh, obviously climb on it to get the book. And we're about to find out what the contents of that book are. Yes, yeah, like before, I played ahead a little bit, to just so I don't wander around aimlessly, and it was a good thing, because, uh, this actually took me a little bit, and perhaps a little bit longer than it should have to figure out, but nonetheless, it wouldn't have been very entertaining to watch me stumble around with this puzzle. Once you figure out what to do, it's actually really simple. It's just, it took me a while to figure out what to do, actually, exactly. Okay, so, now this is where... I got hung up for a bit, because after I got the book, if you look in the book, you notice XXXX equals 9521. So that seems like some sort of password, but if you look closely, you notice, hey, the diary's torn a bit. So, the diary's obviously missing something, and unlike other memos, fire cannot solve our problem here. So what are we looking for? Why, we're looking for a torn page, hidden right here. And this is also what tripped me up a little bit. I found the torn page, and I was like, thinking, like, okay, is there a safe I missed or something? Uh, is there another torn page that I'm supposed to find? If once that happens, will something open up to me? But actually, secret door right behind the torn page. Yeah, that was kind of a dick move. Now, uh, you'll notice a little panel over there. And we're gonna go check that out shortly. But, uh, as soon as we go to look at it... Oh, lights finally cut out. Thankfully, we have a lighter, so we're not completely in the dark. But, uh, we better go get to that circuit breaker. Of course. Yeah. As soon as the lights go out, the Oni starts chasing you. I had the bad luck of not being close to the door, so he just got me instantly. Usually the chase starts as soon as you leave the room, but if you dick around too much, then he appears and just kills you. So yeah, get out the lighter. Now this chase scene is actually kind of annoying, because obviously you don't have full lighting. So uh, it's actually uh, in your best interest to kind of get to know the layout of this area before you go into this chase scene. Thankfully, I know it well enough that I can probably get through this fairly reliably. Okay, go here. There we go. Now, I might have screwed up there, yeah, because I went too far away from the bookshelves. The best way to uh, mark where you're trying to go in that room is uh, the bookshelves. There's three bookshelves. Once you get to the third one, uh, go to the center of it, and the door will be directly across from it. Okay, I should have this this time. Okay. So, go here, go right to the middle, go as close as you can to the wall there. Now you think you get to breathe a bit, because you can, as you hear, the music has stopped. So uh, we can go hit that circuit breaker, but as soon as we do that, the Oni reappears. And that's actually really annoying, because uh, if you go too far from the coffee table, then he's going to catch you. Luckily I saved before I hit the circuit breaker, so we can just do it again. I like to take the uh, roundabout ways just to give them a bit more of a runaround because uh, the cupboards don't always work 100% of the time and sometimes he just enters the cupboard rooms right away so uh, 
there's a fair bit of unreliability to them. Yeah, so if you let him chase you enough, he'll just go away anyway, so I find that to be the slightly more effective method. Of course, you can still hide if you want to. It, it's just, it's random to what he's going to do when you hide. And when you do hide, there is a slight chance that he's just going to open the cupboard and kill you instantly, so... Yeah, not very reliable method. Running is probably the better option. Unless you're really terrible at the running. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we can head through here, and uh, you'll notice that the uh, panel here has flathead screws in it, so that's the purpose of this uh, new screwdriver attachment, so we can get rid of this panel. And underneath the panel is another safe. Now, I had a hell of a time trying to figure out the password to this safe. I did manage to figure this one out, out, out on my own, but it took a slightly embarrassing amount of time. I think like 30 minutes or so. Now, as you'll notice, uh, you get 9521 plus 2598. Now, anybody with a basic knowledge of addition knows that this doesn't add up to a four-digit number. So, what you have to do is actually, this ties to the equation that was carved into the table. Obviously, that n those numbers didn't add up. But if you flip them upside down, you'll notice that they add up perfe perfectly. So, that's what you're supposed to do for this password. Flip the equations upside down, you'll get... 1256 and uh, 8652. Add those together and you'll get 9908. But uh, since the equation is flipped upside down, you actually have to reflip it and you'll get 8066. Yeah, that took me a bit of time to figure out. A bit more time than I probably needed to, but oh well. And for that, we get the annex key. And uh, I only checked out the annex for like a second, so this is like completely blind from here on out. So, good fun to be had. Let's head into the Annex. And it's raining, so that's not a good sign. Now we head over here and there's a completely dark room, so let's get out our lighter. And the lighter is out of oil. Grand. Okay, so, got a few rooms to check out here. Let's see, we've got these dolls. Huh. This one doesn't seem to have the lit up eyes. Wonder if that means anything. Let's dot these dolls over here. This one has lit up eyes. And that was nothing. And uh, yeah, so we got these dolls. Now over here we've got this slight puzzle thing. With a, mm, uh, I guess doll. Now let's see, what are we trying to do here? Hmm. This could be problematic. Okay. Hmm. Not sure what to do there. So, yeah, I'm probably going to spend some time figuring out how to solve that puzzle between this video and the next one. And, uh, you can actually check out the window, and Hiroshi will confirm it is, in fact, raining. Very astute of you. Heading up these stairs, you'll find another set of rooms. And that fireplace? Well, we'll just see once we get close to it. Anyway, there's a couple things to check out here. You got some coffee cups that don't have anything. And then the fireplace, the Omi. Yeah, are you really surprised? Anywho, he's gonna give us the run around through this place again. a mad dash for that cupboard room and try hiding. Oh, he left. Never mind. Right then. So yeah, even when I try to implement hiding, he just goes away anyway, so I guess hiding isn't as useful as you'd like it to be. Or at least not as useful as I'd like it to be. Okay, now that that's taken care of, you shouldn't come out of the fireplace again. Let's see, we got these busts over here. Can I pick up the tea thing? Oh, I bet I can push this. Yep. Take that, fine art. Oh, hey. You can actually go through there. Derp. 
The door is locked. Better save. Uh, slot one. I'm going to only use three slots while I'm recording the video, so in case something goes wrong, I can just go back and start the recording over. Okay, let's see. Got a plethora of puzzles to solve here. Oil obtained. Aha! So we can refill our lighter. That's handy. And this door is locked. I wonder if this is a periodic gimmick where you have to refill your lighter. Hmm. Okay, well, now that we've got a lighter with oil in it, we can uh, get some amount of lighting in that room down there. Forgetting which doors I've checked and which I haven't. Oni? No, not yet. Aha! Blue Jewel. Huh. Puppet obtained. Okay, so we got another puppet. For a second there, I thought the Oni was gonna pop out of that closet or something. Like, oh fuck. Okay, so we've got a puppet, we got a blue jewel. Okay, there was a blank spot on the table in this room, so let's try placing the puppet here. This one's got a red eye. And that text is... Oh, he must have taken the puppet back. Now, what if we use the blue jewel on it? Oh, that's not an option. Okay, put the puppet down. Right. Let's go over to that other puppet room. See, we got this one with its arm raised. This one with no eyes at all. Another blank spot. Can you use the blue jewel on the eyeless one? Yes, I can. Chances are I need to take the red-eyed puppet over here. So he can go along with his blue-eyed brother. Don't know why that text is broken. Glitch, I guess. Okay, so let's place that red-eyed puppet right here. Hmm. And you just stay there. Now I'll leave the blue jewel as is. Actually... You can turn off the lights in these room. Zzz. Let's try using the lighter. Now check out the puppets. No. I don't know why you uh, just automatically takes the puppet. Nothing in this dresser. Yeah, okay, so let's check this thing out. Hmm. There's not really many ways you can move that thing. Oh well. I'm guessing there's some simple solution here that I'm just not getting. Let's try turning off the lights. Checking out all the puppets again. Hmm. There must be a reason you can turn off the lights. This is the only place we've been to so far that has a light switch in it. Well, I think I'm stuck for now. So, yeah, I guess this is where we're going to call it a video. Kind of blew through that last area and didn't do much in this one, but I guess it can't be helped. There's an area over here. I'm guessing we're going to need to find some sort of plank that will allow us to get over to that door. So, yeah, I think I'll save it here. How am I going to solve that puzzle? Hmm. Well, I think I know exactly what to do.